happy friday hello people of internet um yeah it is morning time i just got my vlog done and edited and uploaded or it's not uploaded it like uploads while i log into work so i'm currently working at the moment but i thought i would just take a minute or two to say hey also i want to show you guys my breakfast because it's ridiculous okay hold on let me show you so this is my breakfast this morning. Um, this is the German chocolate cake that I got from Carol's last night. Um, I haven't eaten any yet, but it looks amazing. And I've got my coffee. And yes, I started drinking coffee during quarantine. I know, totally weird, right? So yeah, I started drinking coffee during quarantine. Um, I also bought myself one of those, it's like a mini Keurig. I'll link it, Like I'll do like an Amazon link below. It's like a white single serve one, so it only serves like one cup of coffee at the time. Um, but I figured that would be fine. And then like you could make like tea and hot chocolate and like all these other things. It's got like a little K-cup thing. Uh, but I don't drink coffee every day. It's just once in a while. I thought coffee would taste really good with this cake situation. So yeah, so I'm looking at the cake and it's looking back at me saying, eat me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to say hello and I hope you guys are having a good morning and I'm going to get my day started. Um, also, I have some happy mail coming today from Christiane Designs. I will show you that when it comes. Uh, that's usually in the afternoon. And then also Simply Gilded has another, like a, like a new release at 11. And I don't like buy a lot. I mean, I buy a lot of Simply Gilded. Like, let's be real. Like, hold on. Let me show you. That's that's simply gilded all right there. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a problem. Anyway, actually no, a couple of them are not, but the, like three of them are not. Okay, let's be real. So I saw that she is releasing some more Stardust, which is my favorite pattern. Let me show you a Stardust pattern actually here. This is, this is a Stardust that I'm currently using in my current week. I'll link uh, the plan with me down below if you guys wanna watch it. Let's see, is it gonna focus? Probably not. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, this is Stardust. It's my favorite pattern that she has. It's so beautiful. And she does all kinds of different foils and things like that. But yeah, I'm using the black and gold um, for this week that we're currently in. So again, like I said, I'll, I'll do the little linky thing um, if you guys wanna check out that plan with me. But she's releasing like a hot pink, a super dark navy, almost black, but like she said, like it's called Midnight Navy. And then also white. I do have a couple of white ones already, but this is the white with gold and the one that she's releasing is white with hollow. And I thought that would look really pretty um, so I will hopefully be snagging all of those. Who knows? Um, sometimes she sells out, but, um, yeah, I just go for the things that I clearly want. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not team Bo, as you guys know. Oh, that, that rhymes. Okay, cool. Anyway, so that's kind of my morning plan for now, and I'm going to get to work and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right. It is almost noon. It's like 1155 at the moment. <laughs> But I just got the mail. I'm so excited. I actually got a couple of things. I got this binder that I'm gonna be doing a little project with. Probably sometime next week is when I'm gonna do the project. I will be sharing once I do the project, but it might not be until next month because really next month is only, I don't know, a few weeks away. <laughs> not that far away, guys. Anyways, I got my Chrissy Ann Designs order. I'm so, so excited. This is from her 10 year anniversary. Look, 10 years of CAD. I just, I can't believe it. Anyways, um, so let me turn you around. I'm gonna show you what I got. I basically just like stocked up on things. Um, and then I also got a few things that I've never had before. So I will share in just a moment. Let me turn you around. So here is the order. Here is the freebie. Um, she usually has one of these little guys in all the orders, so this is super cute, and it has like here, like May 2020 mini sampler, so I did order it in May, and then um, this is the 10 years of CAD. I believe if you ordered during the sale, you automatically got this, and then I stocked up on some things. This is actually something that I have a bunch of, but I don't have it in this colorway. I think that this is like the gem or the jewel tones. Um, these are just like the nicest little 
event stickers. I just love them. I got a few. There was like a coupon code during the sale too. I, there's The sale isn't going on any longer, so it was like high time for me to stock up on some things. And then I got these really cute little like road signs. They're doing so much road construction right now, you guys, in my area because it's Minnesota and all we have is winter and road construction. Those are our two seasons we have here. So I got those and clearly I would probably never need to buy another one of these. And if you're interested in the actual like numbers, I'll try to make sure that the bottom portion is in frame. So like this one is that number. Okay, so here, I love these. I needed to stock up. I'm running so low on all of these little arrow stickers. And then I got some of the pastel. And then I got some in the like different colorways. So I'm pretty sure I got one in like every colorway. <laughs> Also, I got some of these movie placard ones. Um, this is kind of that jewelry tone again. I don't have any in the jewel tone. This is in like the other colorway. And then these I've never had before, but like look how cute these are. They just say like organized stickers with a bunch of like CAD stickers because I do organize stickers all the time, I feel like. And then here I have another one in a different colorway. And then I also got the like gray scale like black to gray as well and then i got these which i thought were really cute they kind of they oh here remind me of the coffee break planner stickers but coffee break planner has quite a few different colorways um in their sheets which i love but i've never seen them have all of these so i was like well i'm gonna get them from christian designs um and then you know just have them they're super freaking cute i love them i mean they're a little bit different so i mean i just i just like that there's different color options you know and then i also got the laundry I, I have this already but i don't have it in this specific colorway so i got it in the grayscale and then I got some of these things. So this was like the Las Vegas go wild stuff. Yes, there's stuff about Las Vegas, but I love all these things like pack bags, tickets on sale, request time off, like all that stuff. So I'm like, oh, I need that. <laughs> and I have this already, but I needed to stock up on all these work stickers um, because I am setting up my planner for next year. Um, I will put my little planner move in up in a card for you guys if you're interested in checking it out. And then, yeah, so I just, I just love these. Oh, and then these last two are specific to the Go Wild for 2021. So the Anaheim Go Wild. And I just thought I would grab a couple of these so I can, you know, decorate the planner and do all that fun stuff too. So anyway, that's my haul. That's it. Um, I gotta run because I've got to get back to work, but just thought I would share my little haul with you guys. Well, hello friends. It is the evening time or about, I don't know, it's like four, after four o'clock. I'm done working. I've been done working for a little while. Anyway, I was gonna go downstairs and I figured I'd bring you guys along. I need to grab some Advil because I have a little bit of a headache. Um, I woke up this morning, I don't know, I woke up at like 4.30 or something and I had a headache and I'm like, oh, this really sucks. I was like, okay, well, I'll take the dog out because I don't know, he was kind of bothering me anyways. Just down there, being a dog. Anyway, um, and so I took a few Advil this morning and it was like, good to go everything was fine and then about an hour ago I'm like gosh I'm getting a little bit of a headache but to be honest I didn't eat until late I had some pasta today which was good I had some wheat pasta with some marinara sauce yeah I don't know it was good but um here I need to or lift up my water bottle take that with me we're gonna go downstairs my water bottle is being held by the same hand the camera is holding on to so hopefully I don't drop it so we'll see um, but I think I'm just gonna chill tonight I was gonna paint cabinets but whatever I don't know oh cabinet up or not cabinet update but um kitchen remodel update I finally was able to pay my half down um the guy just like wasn't getting back to me I think he was um, like had a couple of days of vacation or something like the accounting guy. I'm like, hey, can I get my half down paid? Because I want to make sure that everything stays on track with like our schedule for you know, field measure and installation and all that because I already have a plumber ready to go. So 
I'm like, huh. So anyway, talked to him today. We got everything sorted out. It's all paid. Well, not all, but it's like half paid because they just require half down and all that good stuff. So did all of that. All right, I got my Advil now. Oh. God, I go well water. Ah. All right. Oh, and I was gonna show you guys what I got in the mail. Okay, so this is not like my shipping label, but this was shipped to Amazon. So this isn't like mine, so don't worry about it. Anyway, this is what I purchased for my food waste disposer. So like my garbage disposal basically. And it is a Badger 5, hold on, there we go. A Badger 5 cord attached. And it's this one. I don't know if this is a good one. It had pretty good reviews. Um, you know, for me, it's just me living here. So it didn't really make sense to buy one. I'll, I'll link this one below. I got it on Amazon, but um, it really didn't make sense for me to get like a three or $400 garbage disposal when like it's legitimately just me. I think this will be a good one. I will find out, not sure. <laughs> I'm hoping it's okay, but I need to open it and make sure that I have everything that I need inside of here, but I had to have this. Well, not necessarily this, but definitely these two things. Um, the faucet and then this, because um, this is going to be a hole that's in the countertop as well, and that will be like a little push button situation. Um, so I had to have these when they came to measure so they knew how you know, big to make the two core holes. So this will be in the center and this will be like off to the side. So anyway, and here, I'll kind of show you what I'm thinking. I'll go right around over here. Sorry, my sink is like disgusting. But I'm gonna have one big bowl. See, this one, this side gets so like gross. Like see how nasty that is? It's like, ugh nasty um, and then I do clean this out like at least once a week it's at the end of the week so there's like food particles in there right now but it's just really mild anyway it doesn't smell so don't worry but I'm doing one big bowl and then I'm gonna have the faucet hole right in between it'll be an undermounted sink and then it's gonna have like my faucet will have a spray attachment so it's gonna be more of like a goose like a whoop like a gooseneck and then I'm thinking over in the corner over here, having the little push button or maybe put the push button next to this. What do you guys, okay, so real talk, what do you guys think? If I'm having that push button thing that's gonna be activating the garbage disposal, do you think I should have it like close to the single hole that's like for the faucet, like kind of right next to it? Or should I have it kind of off to the side in the corner? What would make more sense? I don't know. I've never had to make these decisions before, so I have zero idea. I have no clue. I don't know. Like, would it look better to just have it over here? I don't want it over here. The reason I don't want it over there is because that's on the left side. Yes, most people are right-handed, but then also it's kind of like hidden away, you know? Um, and then this is a mess right now, but uh, this is kind of more of like a eating, prepping food area. So I'd rather have like this side kind of clean. Does that make sense? I hope it kind of makes sense to you guys. Anyway, let me know about that decision. Should I do it like right next to it or should I do it kind of on the corner? Like tell me where to put the button. I need to know where to put the button. I have no idea. And I need to know by Wednesday. So tell me. <laughs> if you're watching this, please tell me what you think. Anyways, um, yeah, especially if you have um, a sink that's undermounted and then you have a hole drilled into your countertop for your sink faucet and then if you have like a secondary little hole that you have like a push button for your um, disposal let me know what you think that's it for the moment I just took three Advil so hopefully my brain will get better Doyle is doing that just waiting by the door did you need to go outside boo boo yeah okay well, apparently needs to go outside. So we will do that. And um, yeah, I will just see you guys when things get more interesting. Bye. Oh, well, hello. I am kind of getting ready for tonight. It's like almost nine o'clock, but I am doing a little bit of cleaning. Very exciting. 
I know you guys don't see me clean too often on my channel because I just don't know how to show you very well. I did do like an all day clean with me video. I'll link it if y'all are interested in watching it, but it was like less than a 10 minute video because all I did was just like speed up the footage. But hold on, I'm gonna turn you around because I'm gonna explain this. <laughs> all right, so here is my Keurig and I love it. I absolutely love it. However, because it's white, it blends in with things. I'm getting a new countertop, which will be this bad boy in a couple of weeks. So this backsplash is gonna be ripped out and I'm gonna do something new and fresh. But anyways, love this entire thing. This did not come with the Keurig. This is like a little thing that you can buy on Amazon. I didn't like the little like carousel. So I like this, you know, you can do whatever. I've got coffee in there. Clearly I drink the coffee and not the tea or the hot chocolate currently, but that's okay. I just need to fill those back up. I have some more in my little pantry. But anyway, because it's white and it's like the single cupper, you know, it just gets like so gross under there. And this was clean. This was like one day of use, you guys. Like that bothers me so much. And then it like splatters on the sides too. You can kind of see that splatter. Oh, it's just so gross. Anyway, I'm going to clean this thing. And all I do is I take my little like wipey thing and I like to store my um, coffee mugs over here. I mean, I have several different kind of mugs, but at least, I don't know. These ones kind of fit my aesthetic the best. And this comes out, which is nice. So if you've got like a lot of garbage in there, but it's just splatter. So I don't know. It's just really gross. <laughs> Look how gross that is. Ugh, I need another one already. But anyway, I really, really like this like single serve situation. It's not as big as the other Keurigs were. Is that how you say it, Keurig? Or is it Keur Keurig? I don't know. I feel like I never know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, yeah, but it doesn't have like the normal water reservoir. It took me a minute to like figure out how to use the damn thing. Anyway but you have to fill up the water for every like single use. I'll show that to you guys in a second here. Ooh, there we go. And then I always go like this, like underneath here, cause like where the nozzle is, there's, you know, grossness. So I don't know, I just try to, try to get her good. And then it came with this little thing too, which is like a little storage. And then right now, I just have hot chocolate cake cups in there, just for storage. So when I'm not using it, I usually don't have coffee on the weekends. I'll kind of just go like that, and there she goes. So, hold on, let me show you. So this is the like water reservoir. So basically, you just fill this up, like, it tells you not to fill it up past the white, but you can fill it past the white if you want, as long as it fits like within your cup. So ideally, you take your cup, fill it up with water and dump it in. Well, I just take this over to the, you know, sink and then fill it up. So, I don't know, it works, it works. And then you fill it up back here. Only downside is now that I have this little dude, which I got like as soon as I purchased this, um, I have to like pull this out from the wall because when this gets lifted up, like I can't change out the K-cup if it's underneath here, if that makes sense. Like it's not tall enough <laughs> or it's not, yeah, like the cabinets need to be taller and that's just like clearly not gonna happen, but I like this too much. So I'm like, screw it, I'll just pull it out. It'll be fine, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, let me show you what it looks like um, when I push it back. I'm gonna get a couple little things back there. There we go. So yeah, that's how cute it looks when it's all pushed back. I'm gonna put my little fruit bowl where it belongs as well. Right over there, looking all cute. Oh, look at that cute little setup, aww. Hi, okay, so anyway, I'm just cleaning, picking up stuff, all that good stuff. Got somebody coming over tomorrow, so you know, I gotta, gotta make sure shit's legit. Not that it wasn't before, but you know, just in case. 
Oh, and I did open this up and checked. I wanted to make sure in my garbage disposal I had this. Whoa, not necessarily this, but that I had this, um, I don't know, what's it called, like a flange or something? I wanna make sure I had this, and that I also had this. Well, clearly the garbage disposal, but I wasn't sure if this, like, plasticky flap thing came with it or not, but it clearly, ew, clearly it comes with it. It's like greasy. Anyways, um, so yeah, so that's good because I saw on the Amazon that you could buy them separately. So I was like, ooh, I wonder if it's gonna come with it or if I had to buy it separate. Clearly it's in there. So I'm like, all right, we are good. Anyways, so I have my like duff. It's just gonna sit there which I don't really like, but whatever. Yeah, and then I have stuff for my dad, other stuff, I don't know. It's like, it's as picked up as it's gonna get right now, because my house is like a little, in a little bit of shambles, in a little bit of shambles. Right, Doyle? Just a little bit of shambles, just enough shambles. Anyway, but it's like nine o'clock. I think I am going to um, close it out here. I don't have anything else interesting to say. I'm not gonna do anything else interesting today. I might just edit this tonight, thinking about it, because I've got kind of a packed day tomorrow. When you're seeing this, I mean, if you watch it on Saturday, I'm gonna be doing my normal thing, like laundry and all of that stuff, but I've got a friend coming over in the afternoon and we're gonna hang out. It's my dad's 73rd birthday. We are gonna hang out tomorrow night. And then um, I'm gonna go to my parents' place. We're gonna do like a dinner thing. We might do like that Applebee's car side to go again. I'm not really sure exactly what we're gonna do. Um, clearly my dad will just choose what he wants to do. I don't know, he might just like say, oh, let's go to Subway. I mean, I have no idea what he's gonna wanna do. And then um, my brother is coming as well, which would be great. And then my nephew's gonna be there. So that'll be really fun to see everybody and like all be together because it's been a hot minute since we've all been together. And in Minnesota right now, it is allowed for 10 or less people to get together. Um, and we all feel comfortable getting together with each other. But, you know, still maintaining that social distance, like Jackson, I probably won't, you know, be super uh, touchy with or anything. That's my nephew, by the way, if you don't know. Um, and all of that just to, like, respect his boundaries and, you know, the germs that he's around and stuff, too. So I know I've been going out quite a bit lately, but, um, you know, you just, you just never know. You just never know. So... Anyways, but yeah, we're gonna do that and um, you guys will, I'll take you guys along with me and hopefully I'll be able to uh, video some of that stuff and all that good things. But um, yeah, that's it. Doyle, what are you doing? Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. What? I'm sorry, your friend isn't outside. We just went outside and he thinks the neighbors like are his best friends. And when he sees that the neighbor that's attached to this wall has the garage door open and the neighbor's not in the garage, he gets so upset because he wants to go in the garage to go find him and he's not there. <laughs> he's just gets so mad. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm like, he's not there. He's not outside right now. And he just like wants to go over there so bad. I'm like, you can't, bud. You don't live there. <laughs> so anyways. But he did get to go the other day. What was it? Earlier this week. Um, I was out walking him and then I got the mail. And one of my other neighbors, uh, he was telling me a while ago that he was doing like this uh, house project to his front entryway. And basically the majority of these townhomes look exactly the same. Like if they're, they might be flipped or flopped. And there's a couple that look a little bit different than mine. But anyways. So his front area here like where I have this bench built in they all have benches built in that's just how the builder built them um, he ripped it out and then actually made his own bench but it like it goes the whole length of the wall it's really cool he's kind of like a handy guy anyways so he's like oh just come in the entryway like let me show you I'm like okay cool I mean it wasn't like super creepy because I've like known him since he moved in he moved in like maybe like three or four months after I did um, anyways so I was clearly with Doyle and Doyle got to walk in and Doyle was just like so excited. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm in someone else's house. 
<laughs> so now he wants to go up that driveway um, and go visit that house too. I think Doyle thinks that he owns all the houses here or something. What do you think? Do you think you own all the houses, bud? Yeah? Is that, is that what's happening? Okay. Well, <laughs> seems about right. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I'm gonna um, attempt to edit some of this footage tonight and I'll get this uploaded for you guys for tomorrow morning so I just don't have to worry about the vlog and um, go along with my day. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. If you like the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's vlog. Also follow me on Instagram for like daily, usually I do daily updates um, on my like stories and then also like in my feed and stuff too. So some of them are just video updates, but I update on a lot of other things as well. So that's good, good real time place for me. So anyway, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you